she's been on for us what she's been up to since then, as well as she's promoting an upcoming book as well, that also has a cause. Why in the name of cancer? With music by the likes of DJ White Gold and the Styles of Ordinary and DJ Lisa Monet gonna be on that, bound to have a good time. With much ado, we welcome Chuck to Alter Radio. How are you doing? So sweet. <laughs> no one's ever that nice when they say hello. <laughs> It's so good to see you all again. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Right? Yeah, that was like the one that was March around there. Ah, uh, the video from your party for Remember Read? No, that was in November. Oh, it's in November. It's only, it took, it took, I know, because I just finally put it on the internet. Right, right. Right? So, that's a good bit, but we had to put it in the winter. Yeah, it was still cold around my time, so. Wait, I was mad love. Thank you so much for coming. I was so, that was one of those happy, like, happy surprises that you get where you're like, oh. Right? That's what I mean. I was just like, I owe you at least a few. Yeah, that's Here's nice. a round. Let's it's go. A pleasure to have you on the show, man. Um, no, I mean, how have you been? You know what? Very happy. Yeah, no. yeah. I've been happy, and it's so annoying. <laughs> you want to keep I, happy? Yeah, no, it me? is. It's BC Nation. Honestly, um, I'm a part of this beautiful movement called Bold and Center. Right. And uh, basically, the movement believes in humanity. Right? So it encourages all participants to stand bold in whatever they believe in, but right. stay centered. Right. Be mindful that we all bleed bread. Right. right? So in that community, we've got so many talented and amazing people that are doing things with each other, right. for each other, you know, just to better uh, our living arrangements. Everybody's very, very proud of Toronto and like, but BC has just kind of spread past that. So it's so aesthetic, right? For sure, um, for sure. No, I mean, you know, people, you know, I, I always wondered when I heard the name Chuck, I was like, Chuck, why? Where did the Chuck name come from? Where did that come from? Well, okay, no. <laughs> um, I'll tell you why I went with Chuck. Okay. Chuck, the backstory to that is a little embarrassing. <laughs> so uh, it, it, was, it was one of those nicknames, you know, between your brother and, you know, whatever, and it just got out. And then everybody and their grandmother started calling me Chucky, and okay. it was like, okay, guys, this isn't funny anymore, and it just stuck. Like my bosses even call me Chucky. <laughs> everybody calls me Chucky. Everybody okay. calls me Chucky. So, but I went with it because you do see the reaction, right? right. People are like, why Chuck? Like, you're so pranky. You know? <laughs> right? It almost made me want to do it more. It was just like, why not? Definitely. Right? Like that's so stupid. If that's what's gonna get you, oh no, we've got it. We're in for a ride. Right? So, yeah. No, okay. Chuck it is. Chuck it is. Who is the individual known as Chuck, though? She is a, uh, she's got opinions, that one. <laughs> she has got so many opinions. She, I just, you know, Chuck is a character. Sadia is the girl, right. right? And, like, I've never, you know, BC Nation is the family, but Bold and Centered is the movement. Like, there's, I'm very clear with what those boundaries are, but, like, both Chuck BC Nation, Sadia, Bold and Centered, all of that is constantly evolving, right? right. So when you ask who, yeah. like, <laughs> they're being all narcissistic, no kidding. Okay. It's just, it's too hard to specify. I just hope, Sadia is the person I worry about the most. Right. Character matters more than anything, right? Chuck's a character. Right. But like, Sadia's character is what real life is about, and I think that's what we lose sight of. So, for sure. When you're starting out, I mean, what was your first musical memory? Um, probably MJ. MJ. Can't you know it? It's probably MJ. What song in particular? Just oh god, I don't. I don't remember. I just remember the, the absolute shock of just seeing someone dance right. like that and like with such freedom, right? Like the the outfit, the glove, you know, just just you couldn't even. You're just like, what? I've never seen anyone like that before. And I must have been like, I don't know. Seven, like I, I grew up in a pretty strict Muslim home, right? So like music, so that was a sneaking at <laughs> seven years old, yeah. curious, you know, and just stumbling across someone as great as MJ. Yeah. Yeah. Um, in terms, so in terms of music, did you know, in terms of your household, did you ever have music flowing around the household? The problem, you know? no, that wasn't very popular. Okay. <laughs> you can imagine how proud they are. Right. Right. I mean, what do they make of it now, especially now? Uh, you know what? I I can only hope that. I make them proud, that's all. You know, like, the message that I ride with BC Nation and like, the music that we're looking to put out and, you know, the effort we're trying to build in our community, I hope that's something that makes them proud. Definitely, definitely. Now, I mean, when you first heard of, you know, BC Nation Bolton Center, mm -hmm. um, I mean, how did you get involved? 
I agreed, <laughs> right? I agreed, I get it, right? And like, um, we all rock these black beads. So, oh, actually, I was supposed to leave some for you all. Yeah, that's how you get them. It's okay. a given, it's a gift, right? Yeah. It's, it's almost like you're welcomed into this and it's a movement. It's not like, uh, you know, a boys or girls club. It's, right. There's no exclusive anything. That's what's beautiful about it, right? It really encourages in all forms. Like, BC Nation is responsible for that video, Remember Brie, right? Like, and I, you can only imagine, right? Like, you're just like, wow, I'm completely humbled. humbled. <laughs> humbled by um, the love that they show that of course um, I love being a part of it. Definitely, definitely. I mean for you what is your stance in terms of like I know everybody has their roles in it. For you how do you see your role? Um, I through art just through art you know more than anything I want to make sure that if I'm releasing something it communicates the same uh, you know, just the same thinking, you know, I, there's a lot of very intelligent and bright and forward-thinking women, right. a part of this team, there's some incredibly, incredible, incredible hearted men that are part of this movement and they work together and like, what's their sound, what's their story, what do they want the world to know and like, all of them are hyper aware of what's going on in this world yeah. and we're not seeing enough of that discussion, it's not popular to right. talk about what's going on in the world oh, on a real so. level, right? Yeah. So. That's what BC families about. Well, I, I hope to sound yeah, that. Definitely, I mean, especially with stuff like whatever's going on you know, around the world and Ferguson and all right, that. That's, right, That's oh. touching home as well, right? Right, so like rocking these black beads and being reminded every day that we're not alone is just right. one more sign of unity and I think that's, like, that's the kind of love we're going to need in this world, right? Definitely. It's just, for sure, for sure. been a... Now let's talk about Remember Breathe. What was the whole story behind that? Okay. Okay, I'm gonna be absolutely honest with you. <laughs> when I uh, first released the song, everyone was like, "Oh, it's so sexy, it's Jackie, well done." And I'm like, "Do it." Can I see? You? <laughs> sorry. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. It's like but you know, it's so bad. Yeah. It's in the dictionary. Fair. Okay. See, okay. dictionary. Okay. <laughs> 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 I'm in the culture right there. Uh, um, yeah, I was just, I'm so upset. You can't tell people how to listen to your music. Is what I discovered in that. And, and so I got really mad, I was just like, that's not what I wanted them to take from it. So I had to go shoot the video and try to show what I wanted you to take from it. The song is about a dysfunctional girl in love with a man who didn't notice. And like that doesn't seem like a big deal until you realize, yeah, a lot of girls are kind of going through that. And it only, what I hope to kind of convey in the video is that it's her decaying in mentality. She goes from being the girl next door to being broken. Do we need a bunch of broken girls walking around? And no, we don't. And, and you'd be surprised at how many are, and how many have scars, and how many, and we're still trying to look through. And like these women grow to be mothers, and you know what I mean. And and it's it's a cycle. It takes two. It's not like they got there by themselves. You know what I mean. So this video was more like a warning. And so when people see it, they're like, it was nice, but then you kind of scared me a bit. I was like, good. Yeah, that's right. What we're trying to do. It's awareness. Let's just be a little bit more aware. Like, let's not. Let's just move with a little bit more love. That's all. Definitely. Right. Definitely. Of course. Um. What other projects do you have currently on the door? Um. Quite a few. Quite a few. I'm very excited. Big and I are just not really supposed to talk about it until it's done, right? So, but I will. I will. I will share this. There's a. Um, like we're working really hard to release this next coming EP. Okay. And it's called Closure Defined. That's all I'm saying. That's it. It's called Closure Defined. That's what you're getting right now because I can't. Closure Defined is like, it's my first DP out as a solo artist and I've taken some time off as you guys can see. It's been a minute. So I've learned a lot in that bit and I wanted to just kind of define that ending and what does that sound like? Okay. Who knows? Right? Okay. Well, how do we expect it? Nope. You're not going to do this to me. Hey, don't do this to me. Come on. I plead the fifth. Does that apply here in Canada? No, 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 I don't no, think I just don't want to do it. I just don't want to. No, I can't do it. Please. You say 2000. No, no, you know what I'm going to give you? I'm going to give you that. It's called Closure to Fine. That's what it is. I can't do any more than that. But, really but no. I have a treat for you anyway. Come on, you know this. Do I? I don't know. I don't know if they. You know what? Do you know can, we, can we talk about the party? <laughs> Can I, can I fight everybody? Yeah, definitely, party? of course. Party? That's Just because it's a cool event yeah. that BC yeah. puts on. Okay. And I'm like totally trying to deflect. <laughs> okay, cool. So. I don't want to talk about it, but it's okay. Um, every year, right. BC puts on.
it's on a, like an annual charity event, and okay. usually the last couple of years it's been a boat cruise party. Okay. And this year we're last year we helped out with uh, LBK Living okay. Positive Kenya, right. and this year we're helping out with the Cancer Society. Okay. So we've got like five DJs right. about. Oh, and okay. shuttle buses escorting our guests from the docks to the after party. Word. All included. All included. For the low price of 30 bucks. Right? Hold on. But you only get four days now. I mean it. Four days left to pay for the 30 bucks. Because at the door, you're going to have to meet me and it's 60. Ouch. I think that's fair. I've, that we've been advertising good. for this. I've been talking about it for like months. And you know, people don't believe you. And I was just like, I'm going to jack at the door. And I told everyone I love. Tell your friends that I am just a wicked wit thing of the West. <laughs> and she's so dead serious, it's gonna be 60 at the door. This is for cancer. Yeah. Right? And like five DJs. That's three on the boat, two at the after party, shuttle bus accommodation, so you don't miss out on the part. You know what I mean? There's yeah. cool street artists. I want you guys, I can't wait for you guys to meet these people. And like we've got a street brand, Fame Kills. Is gonna be on the bowl and they're having a pop-up shop. We've got a street artist who I absolutely love. I actually like can't wait for you to see his stuff. Um Andre at hip hop. Oh I can't get the last word, I'm sorry, I don't want my phone on me, but he's amazing. You'll you'll check out his stuff, he's amazing and he's gonna be on the boat. We've okay. got um prizes to give away, right. so okay. many fun things and there's gonna be food on the boat. And all of this for thirty dollars. That's it. For there now is food on the boat. There is food on the boat. There's food. There has to be, or you can't. Yeah, that's a part of the $30. Yeah. And like, I. And you'll go hungry. I mean, you're going on a boat cruise and you won't go hungry. I mean, that's what I'm saying. it's $30. It's $30. You can't go wrong. But not at the door. At the door, so you can see me and it's 60. And I will not even feel bad about it. I will actually smile. Can I have a smile? That's $60. I'm concerned to every person who goes through. But you know there are people who are going to still show up. And that's fine. And they know, and I'm going to smile at them, and they're going to have a great time, but for $60. Blind Man's Hope, Lonely Mother Tears, 
We were never meant to saw how we were only meant to feel pain, forced to accept it, telling us we were never meant to saw. We could see it in our systems and lie with the way they commissioned the law. If you seek it more, they find brilliant ways to stop any type of growth, any choice of yours. But a promise is a lie from the sort. Careful, know who your friends are. Don't care where you come from. Do you know what your plans are? Tell me, do you know stuff? If we'll make it in the long run, short stuff, feeling lucky. Maybe they could tell us a little more about how it feels to make whole team buy you in the crowd feels amazing maybe take a bit of truth glaze it over make it famous maybe then we'll be a tenor settle down and pay attention to the bullshit nonsense filling up on gossip nothing's been the same since we let them feed us toxic nothing's been the same we cried out again we lost it somewhere down the line they said keep your circle tight knit another burner learned the concept but we know better now we got it in our hearts and our soul we found room here to grow now we know i can hear you hope